As DNR police continue to investigate this attack, which ended with the bear being euthanized and the victim in the hospital, amazingly, that victim called sheriff's deputies here in Frederick County while being attacked. The whole thing caught on 911 audio. Oh my God, here he comes. Oh my Lord, please dear God, no. Please dear God, no. How is so? 63-year-old Karen Osborne pleads to a Frederick County 911 operator for help, yet at the same time remains incredibly calm. The bear just attacked me. I'm laying in the driveway. I'm what it, what attacked you? Bear, and he's still here. Please help me. Just before 9 Wednesday, Osborne, who lives next to her son-in-law in the 7600 block of Iron Gate Lane, went to check on his dog who was barking for an unusually long amount of time. Little did she know the dog was barking because it saw a sow and her cub, and Osborne got right in the middle. Where's the bear now? Do you see it? Right behind me. He's behind me, and he's snorting and stomping and digging in the ground like he's getting ready to attack. He's getting ready to attack me again. Please tell my husband I love him. It was soon after this emotional plea that police arrived and got her to safety. This could have went south pretty bad. I mean, she's really lucky. Osborne's son-in-law spoke with 11 News Thursday, still in shock over what happened, though not too surprised. Their neighborhood is very near Gambrel State Park, and bear sightings are quite common, just not this close. He was upset to hear that the sow was euthanized by DNR police, and the cub seen here was tranquilized. As far as his mother-in-law, well, she's lucky to be alive. She's hanging in their stable, so, you, you know, it was uh, mostly to her arm. She got a broken wrist, a uh, bunch of stitches, a lot of lacerations. Uh, but she's fine. I think it's the mental side right now that we're really worried about. And family members of Karen Osborne tell us some good news. She should be out of the hospital within the next couple of days. In Frederick County, I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL, TV 11 News.